Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix basic Windows errors, uh, application crashing, um, such as if you open up a program and it'll just crash for no reason immediately. Um, usually why this happens is because most pat programs were developed or intended for like Windows XP or uh, or it's because they were developed f not for a 64-bit operating system. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. Usually it's because they're developed for XP. Or developed on for XP. <clears throat> Alright, so what you want to do is you want to find out where your program is installed. Um, there's a few ways to do it. If you already know where, where exactly where it's installed, then, then you can go ahead and skip through this. If you don't, stay here for a minute <laughs> okay I'm gonna be using Skype as an example as you can see I have Skype here you can do this with a desktop icon um, what you wanna do is you wanna right click it oops <laughs> what you wanna do is you wanna right click it and hit properties and as you can see right here that's where they, uh, it's installed and <clears throat> just hit OK on that. If you can't, if you don't have that desktop icon, you can search it up. For example, I'm just going to type Skype here. And you see how that comes up? You can just right click it right there, do the same thing, hit properties, and it'll come up just like that. So now I'll go ahead and go to where your program is installed. I'm going to be using San uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas as an example today. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to open up the main folder. You don't want to open up any subfolders. And uh, what you're going to be looking for is, is you're going to be looking for, uh, like right here, where it says uh, GTASA, there's an abbreviation of the program. A lot of the times it'll have the full program name right here. But, uh, all, like games and, and other things, uh, like development software, for example, Adobe After Effects it will have a, an abbreviated version of the name for example GTA SA, GTA San Andreas and what you want to look for is the application you can see here this looks like the same exact thing except a totally different name as well as is an application but what you want to look for is the abbreviated name of the game uh, sometimes you'll see an icon that looks just like it except right here it'll say icon file anyway once you find the uh, startup application. You want to right click that and hit properties. Go to compatibility and you'll see right here it says run this program in compatibility mode 4. Hit that. Very rarely you will have to put it in service pack 2. So for right now um, just put it in service pack 3. That's most likely what you're going to be using it in. And sometimes you will also need to run it as an administrator. Um, you don't have to necessarily do this, but it's always good to do it just in case. And if you come up with another error or something doesn't run right, go back and turn it off and then try it again. So, But for right now, just keep that on. Hit apply. Okay. And then once you start up your application, most likely you, should, you wouldn't get an error unless you had something wrong with the registry or something wrong with the core file of the game or application whatever you're using or in other cases it's just uh, it could be several different things such as your network setup, your host file, it could be a lot but this is just a basic way this is really easy, quick, just to test it out I do this all the time if I ever run across something that doesn't work on me Anyway, uh, I appreciate you watching this video. Um, if you have any other problems, just leave me a comment. I'm always good with replying to people's problems right away in the comments. So uh, just comment, let me know, or message me one way or another. Uh, thank you for watching the video, and I appreciate it. Comment, give it a like, and y'all have a great day.